Hi guys, welcome back to House of Hair UK. Hope everyone is safe and well. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing an install on a lady who's got quite fine hair, and we're gonna be doing invisible flat wefts and two roads of braidless weave. But the main purpose of the video is to show you guys how beautiful our Indian wavy texture hair is when it's straightened out. If you're interested in watching, or you're interested in seeing how it looks, then keep watching. So the application that I'm going to, oh, I can't speak today. The application that I'm going to be doing on this lovely lady is the Invisible Flat Weft Hair Extensions and two rows of Braidless Weave Hair Extensions. So you know that the leave out is key if you've got a client who's got very fine hair, as she does. So we're leaving out quite a lot of hair around the parameter so that when she ties it up, she gets a flawless install. This, these, both of these methods are our most popular methods. So what I've decided to do is do a combo class. So on the 25th of October, which is a Sunday, I am doing a live streamed combo class. So you guys can actually log on online and you'll be able to learn both of these hair extensions methods live from the comfort of your own home. So I've already installed her first row of invisible flat wefts and now I'm going in and making the base or the foundation for the braidless weave tracks. So instead of using the normal five millimeter beads, I'm actually gonna be using the mini four millimeter beads because her hair is very fine and I don't want the beads to slide out of her hair. So the braidless weave hair extensions, or the, sorry, the invisible flat weft hair extensions, they actually don't give much volume because they're only a single track. So I'm doubling up her braidless weave rows that are following after the invisible flat weft. So as you can see here, to start off all of the tracks and to end each track, I actually put the needle and thread through the track. And this is so that it doesn't slide out of the hair. And then for her hair, I'm actually gonna go underneath all of the micro beads, as you can see here, as opposed to going on the left or the right hand side of it. So I'm gonna go directly underneath that bead and stitch it and secure it. I actually double wrap the thread so that it's more secure and it doesn't unravel. I actually finished off with doing another braidless weave row and then an invisible flat weft row right at the top of her head so that her crown did not have any kind of bulky areas. So as you can see here, because her hair was really fine, we only had a small section of her head to work with, but the wavy hair still creates the illusion of a lot of volume. So what we've done is a single row of invisible flat weft at the top and the bottom and then two doubled up tracks. So really she actually only has six tracks in her hair in total. So this lovely lady's hair is naturally wavy, so the texture of the hair extensions blend with her natural hair. However, she straightened her hair before the appointment. So while I was straightening it out, I just realized how beautiful this hair is when you straighten it, and I wanted to show you guys. So the Indian wavy textured hair, it's really versatile. You can have it in the natural wavy texture, or you can have it straightened out. And then when you wet it, wet, oh, I can't speak today. When you wet it, the curl comes back.
before anyone decides to come for me in the comment section, her whole head was sprayed with a heat protector before I actually started with the hair straighteners. Then I'm just going to finish off by kind of framing and layering around her face. This gives a more natural blend where her hair ends and the hair extensions continue. You don't want it to be like a blunt step so that it becomes very obvious that she's got hair extensions in. So I thought I would just do kind of a little layering look to frame her face. And then we finished off by adding some waves in her hair. So this is her final look guys. Like I said, I do have some live classes coming at the end of this month. If you're interested in joining those classes, I will put the link in the bio. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching.